And now, in the previous video, we have seen how to rotate and how to use this plane height or show, show and hide, and we will just hide these planes for a while. Now, we, suppose I will sketch on only on the top plane. So, I will select other two planes and hide. And if you want the normal view of the plane on which you are working, just click on the plane and here you are having the option called normal to. So what this option does is, it will rotate from whichever the view you are and always shows the normal view of that plane, of the selected plane. So see, I have rotated this plane now and as you can see, it shows the normal view. As a default, when you select the plane either from this working area or the graphics area or from this or this featured design manager tree, anyhow anything is fine or so I am going to select from this graphics area and then we will click on sketch and it shows the normal view automatically if we i will exit the sketch and also show you i will hide this plane right now so all the planes are hidden so i will choose the top plane again i can without having without without needing the plane to be shown i can sketch i'll show you i am choosing the top plane from the design tree because I cannot select from here from this graphics area so I am going to select this top view you can select any of the plane for practicing the sketches so I am going to select the top view and when I select it it shows the new sketch option that is sketching option from here you can sketch or either from here also you can sketch it shows the normal view now we will start with the sketching and this is basically a line tool so here we are having different line options like center line or the midpoint line uh, center line is just used for construction purpose that is for uh, representing the axis for, uh, which is generally used for revolving option or uh, the central line here the line at, at this point this what this arrow shows is actually the origin this Okay, this is the origin and all this we should start from the origin and because all the dimensions are dimension with respect to origin only then it will be fully constrained. As I told you in the previous videos, this is the status bar and here now it shows we are in the sketching so it shows we are under defined. So right now it is moved. So yeah. And now we are having, when you choose the line option, you are having different line. As sketched means you can sketch it however you want. Okay, and as horizontal means it will be horizontal by default. When you sketch, however you draw, however you move your mouse, it will be horizontal. And vertical, it will be the same. However you draw, it will be vertical. However, you, if you move the mouse, it will be vertical. And then, it will be at the angle at which you draw and suppose you want to make this line as the construction line suppose first I will draw the line I have drawn this line after drawing the line okay you want to make it as a construction line okay just click on the line and the line properties appears over here here you can change it to horizontal vertical uh, sorry both are not available so I have to delete any, any of them so I delete now horizontal now it will show vertical so it is vertical now and if you want to use it for construction purpose you can just use it click on construction if you want it an infinite line you can just create click on infinite line the same goes for the other lines also so see and if you want to make the lines as a construction line during the sketching itself click on the line 
and here you are having the option called construction line or the infinite line. Suppose if I draw a line, see it is an infinite line and it is a construction line. Can either make it it is default horizontal now. If I delete this horizontal and I make it as vertical, see it is that. And the same goes for this is the circle and this is a uh, spy line too. And this is the rectangle here. We are having different rectangle, corner rectangle. Where from the corner we will be drawing. See we here. Sorry. Here from the corner I have drawn, see from this corner I am drawing and the center rectangle is nothing but we will be drawing from the center, see this will be the center now, see you are drawing it from the center and this is the arc, this is center point arc, tangent and three point arc and these are different curves for ellipse, partial ellipse, parabola, conic and this has the slots of different the straight rock slot is something like this and straight and this is the center point slot where you will be knowing the center point of the slot this it extends from this will behave as a starting point will behave as a center and it will extend both, both the directions equally and that is the opposite direction of which you will be moving your cursor it will expand equally and this is the polygon and here you will enter the number of sides suppose if I want a pentagon I will enter 5 and here I have, where, uh, here I have team two different options like inscribed circle or circumscribed circle see inscribed circle is nothing but here by default circle will be inside that ok and Sorry, I have chosen to draw the circumscribed circle and now we will see inscribed circle, circle will be inside. See, now the circle is inside. Here you can set the angle to 0 and then click on OK. Yeah. And then, and these are the few things. Since we are not constrained, that is, see, you can move this lines anywhere any in any direction or stretch it so it is undefined all the sketches are undefined and to identify the whether the sketches are constrained or not constrained it shows the blue the all the lines are the sketches are shown in blue and when you click on the different lines or different parts of the uh, sketches See, you can move this, except you cannot rotate this because it is constrained. See, and all this green option shows that constraint. See, now if I click on this green, it shows this is the light. It highlights this line in pink and it shows line 17, that, that is the line number and it is vertically constrained. And this is the coincident constraint symbol and see this is a horizontal constraint. Whereas for this, you cannot see any constraint because you can rotate it, move it anyhow. See, you can move the all the lines in, but you cannot rotate this lens because it is vertical and this is horizontal. Suppose if I say, yeah, this is also the same thing and here also this is the pattern circle and this is the vertical line and it shows the line numbers in the brackets suppose you can rotate this all this line see you can move this line and let's see how we create a constraint that is the constraint any drawings first uh, I'll draw a simple rectangle I'll draw a simple corner rectangle I'll start from the origin and you can enter the distance. Here it shows the x coordinates and the y coordinates. And here you are having the option called smart dimension. By default, these two show black color because it is partially constrained, that is, it is horizontally constrained and vertically constrained from the origin. 
always constraint should be uh, sorry the dimension should be from the origin and this line end point coincides with this origin as well as this line end point coincides with this origin shows it is constraint now if i enter this and i can enter the dimensions i want suppose i want 200 mm and i will enter this as 120 yeah. now it shows it is fully defined and here it shows it is fully defined that means all the sketches are constant and when you click on any of the line and try to move using the mouse it will not move now and all the things are in black color if it is fully constrained and when you click any one of the dimensions it is under defined in the status bar it shows like this and you can verify it since you can move this line all right guys thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions